I'm gonna give you guys 10 reasons why you should buy the Tesla Model 3 and why this car is the fastest selling EV car besides the Tesla Model Y. Check this out. What's up guys, Myung here from Camera to Freedom and I know that I normally review cameras and video equipments and all that good stuff but I also review things that help out in my life, help out with my business and a car, a reliable car is definitely one of the most important things to have when having your own business, right? Because I'm driving all the time to my gigs and I always talk about Teslas before I own a Tesla and I've always wanted one and finally it's happened. So let's go straight into it guys. Reason number one why you should get a Tesla Model 3 is that it's affordable. I know that sounds crazy. This car, right outside after taxes and everything, came up to like $60,000. There's no negotiation with Tesla. You get what they tell you how much the car is worth. $60,000 is a lot, and I've never bought a car that expensive before. Before then, it used to just always be used cars everything below $20,000 and finally my wife just said you know what you've been working for so long and you've been working hard you deserve one I'm like thank you babe so she finally decided that we should just get a new car Tesla Model 3 my dream car check this out obviously with an EV car you don't have to buy gas and right now gas in some places in Southern California is seven dollars that's crazy so check out check this calculation out right so before this car, I was driving our family Pathfinder 2017. My monthly payment was $350. And my gas, since I drive so much, came up to an average of $500 a month. On an average month. Sometimes more, sometimes a little less. So that came out to, you know, $850. Bucks, and then some, right? There's things you got, like oil changes and tire rotations and all the maintenance that you always have to pay for so that came up to what an average about thousand dollars a month this car my monthly payment is 750 dollars i don't have to pay for gas we have solar panel so the solar panel charges up the tesla so it's strictly 750 dollars so it's actually three four hundred dollars cheaper than having my driving my cheap a Pathfinder so this car is actually affordable if you have a car payment around obviously if you are done with car payment and you're just paying for gas and your gas your car saves on gas then you might save more money driving your paid off car but if you're paying for a car payment then having a Tesla Model 3 is more affordable reason number two no more gas stations so gas stations has been a nightmare for me all my life. Every morning you wake up with a fully, full gas tank, right? Fully charged. And you don't ever have to worry about gas stations. Gas station was a nightmare for me because I have two apps on my phone, Gas Buddy and Get Upside, and it helps me try to find the cheapest gas station around town. And it, it, might t it was a nightmare where every few days, every week after gas up, I'm always trying to, I'm doing my best to find the cheapest gas stations. I got Costco membership, of course, the line is super long and then it's just a nightmare, right? I just hated the stress of always worrying about my gas. No more. I never have to think about a gas station or gas ever again and this just, it's very free, man. It feels like I am unlocked from this chain that was on me for a long time. So it's a good feeling to not have to worry about gas stations. Reason number three, the minimal interior design with a big, awesome entertainment center monitor that's in the middle. At first, I was, I was wondering if I'm ever gonna get used to that, right? Because I mean, we're so used to looking at all of our gauge clusters and you know all the meters. We, we have to look at our mouse power that's right in the middle, and now we have to look to the right. But with this big monitor, after you drive it for a couple of days, you don't even realize that the whole monitor is on the right side. The uh, miles per hour, it's right on the right side of your steering wheel on the screen, so you could instantly see how fast that, uh, that you're going. And it's an entertainment center. You could watch movies. It's got Hulu, Netflix. Um, it's got YouTube. It's got video games. Uh, it's got karaoke, karaoke. I mean, you know I love karaoke, so it's got karaoke in there and just bunch of cool stuff that you could just entertain yourself, the family. To be honest with you, at nighttime when uh, my boy and I are bored, 
we come to our car, we come inside the car and we watch uh, just movies and we just kind of hang around and have fun in there. It's really fun. I never go into my other cars to have fun. That's kind of crazy, right? You don't go inside your car to have fun, but with a Tesla Model 3, we actually take time to go inside to have fun. So it's really neat to have something like that. All right, reason number four why this Tesla Model 3 is so cool is the regenerative braking. So you don't have to hit the brakes to slow down or come to a stop. You just actually let go of the gas and just like driving a car, uh, go-kart, you just let go of the gas and it starts to slow down. And you, at first it felt kind of weird, right? Cause that's not the way we drive. We have to hit the brakes to come to a stop. But learning to let go of your pedal, your accelerator pedal and coming to the stop on a red light just at the right time it took a little practice but just i don't know after a day or two of driving i kind of got that down and the great thing about regenerative braking is that you're not using your brake pads every once in a while i have to push my brake pads because sometimes i have to come to a, a immediate stop because maybe a car on the front is hitting their brakes or something crazy like that but imagine that you use your brake pads so little so minimal that you might have your brake pads for the rest of your car's life. I'm not sure exactly why I'm gonna change it, but it's one day I'm gonna have to change it, I'm sure. But I mean, but can you imagine that? No more brake pads wearing down or changing brake pads if you drive it right. Reason number five, autopilot. So autopilot is different from FSD full self-driving. Tesla offers you two options. You need to actually pay extra $12,000 or a subscription of $200 a month or so to have full self-driving, which you don't have to do anything, set the destination and it'll just take you there like as if we live in the future. I haven't tested that out since I don't have, have one, but every Tesla comes free with autopilot. So autopilot is basically an advanced cruise control. It's really meant for when you're driving on the uh, freeway, you're just gonna stick to one lane and you just activate the autopilot by clicking down your uh, right pedal twice and you get, it'll just turn for you. It'll slow down for you. You could then let go of your gas, uh, acceleration, then it will drive the car for you, right? So there's times when I'm driving far distance for my gigs, like I always do. Uh, I just hit that, I chill. You always have to leave your hand on the uh, pedal so that you're not just falling asleep like how some people do on the, on the freeway that you see on YouTube videos, right? That's crazy. So you always have to leave your hand there, but it will curve with the road. And also if a car in front of you slows down, your car will slow down. And when they accelerate, you accelerate. So if you are stuck in a traffic jam, then man, you get to relax. You get to just put it, your car on autopilot and just let the car just take you without having to just stop and go, stop and go and just brake pedal and just always stressing out. And I really love using aut autopilot because there are many times when I'm driving and I have to kind of look down for a second because I'm using my phone to find a restaurant, the next destination, you know, some important message that I have to check. I know that's very unsafe to do, to check in your messages on the phone while you're driving, but you know, you know that it's, you sometimes have to do it because it's very important sometimes that you have to check. Anyways, always be safe on the road. But you know, there are times where I just, feel like it's a little dangerous i'm in danger and all of a sudden i just look down for a second to check that important message or look at the map on my phone and look up and somebody hits the red brakes and i immediately hit the red brakes many nightmares in my life for sure about that but with autopilot you set that of course you have to be vigilant and keep an eye on the road in case something crazy happens but you know i get to look down and check my phone for the next location on the map or or i need some information right away or you know what i'm saying so i love this autopilot it feels great and especially when you're driving long distance and you kind of just don't want to be you know driving the whole time even though i do love driving it just feels nice that it drives for you so reason number six why I love the Model 3 so much is that it has a lot of charging ports. It has two 12 volts, one in the middle console and one hidden in the back of the trunk. It's got four USB-Cs and it's got one USB that's actually being uh, used at, with a thumb drive to record your this, all the security cameras that's in your car. 
and it's got this awesome little deck on the middle of the console for your phone and it charges your phone wirelessly it charges android i have an iphone uh, 12 pro max it feels so futuristic and has an ability to charge your phone in many different ways and to charge different gadgets as well so i love how this car has so many different security cameras it's got cameras in the front inside on the sides on the back and it's so cool because it's a security camera first off so if you're away and somebody comes by your car and they seem kind of suspicious it'll give you an alert you could use your app to see your camera and see if there's something suspicious that's happening but best of all they use the camera for safety when you're driving so for instance when i click left to turn left it'll turn on the left side camera so it'll sh shoot the uh, blind spot and on top of the blind spot of course you could see the uh, the little diagram in the middle with your car icon to show the cars on the left or right to see if there is a car on your blind spot so there's like multiple ways to tell you if you're safe to make a left or right turn so that's really neat i know there's a camera inside too and i think what that's used for besides security in case somebody goes inside and steals something or whatever is that if you aren't paying attention to the road and you look down or you look left or whatever and all of a sudden a car in front of you hits the brakes it'll give you a beeping warning sound hey keep your eye on the road there's something crazy happening on the road so it'll just beep and then it'll kind of wake you up a little bit and you know instinctively you kind of hit the uh, the brakes so that really helps out when driving so i feel really safe driving this car because it gives you so many multiple ways to keep you uh, on the road safely reason number eight voice command so this car you could talk to this car and it will do things for you and it's very responsive so you push this little dial right here for a second and then you say things like turn off the air conditioning turns it off and it you know check this out again take me to mcdonald's I mean, it's really responsive. It's really cool. There's like, I, I think about a hundred voice command that it'll, it'll react to. You could tell it to turn on the, the heater in the front, the heater in the back, warm up the seats, um, slow down, speed up when you're do, in autopilot. I mean, just anything you can think of, it will do it for you. So, and it connects to your phone. It connects to my iPhones. So when I get text messages, it'll read the text message for me. I think my iPhone could do it, but I don't know how to activate that voice reading ability. So then when I get text message on the road, it's a gamble for me. Now it's like, okay, do I take my eyes off of the road so I could read the text message and then, you know, reply using the Siri? Or do I, you know, I mean, it's, it's kind of scary, right? I hate doing that. So, but once again, sometimes it's a message that's very important that you have to respond to. I know texting and driving is illegal, so don't do it, guys. But once in a while, it's very important that, you know, maybe your mom's calling or, or especially your wife is calling. <laughs> so, and that's important. Kim Hong says, cool, babe. What's for dinner, babe? Kim Hong says, Kathu Pika. That's a... Uh, Guam Chamorro food for spicy chicken. Yum. I'm pretty sure one of these days they're gonna have an ability like Siri where you could have conversations back and forth and ask them to uh, tell you a joke or something like that. But as of now, you could tell the car exactly what you want the car to do. So I think that's very cool and futuristic. Reason number nine why I love this car so much and why you should get one too is, is that it's super fast. Now, it's not about racing, of course. I don't like to race on the roads. It's too dangerous, right? <laughs> Those, that's a young man's sport right there. But having a fast car is so important, especially when it accelerates so quickly when you're driving. Because, like, for example, there was a case where this one car in front of me was driving kind of weird. I think that person might have been drunk or something, but it was very dangerous to be behind this person so i quickly accelerated around the person and went in front of him and i've owned a porsche before a you know a boxster it's not that expensive but i've owned you know fast uh souped up civics and you know things like that in the past but i never owned a car that was this quick this car is so fast i mean it feel the g-force when you accelerate from zero to 60 when you put the uh, you know pedal to the metal when you do that you could just it kicks you back and you just it's like a roller coaster it's crazy but i 
like I said, it, for safety reasons, right? So anytime you need to pass a very slow driving car, it does it real quick. When you're trying to get into the freeway, you need to accelerate because you need to make sure you pass a certain car or you know dodge another car. It does what you want it to do, right? Because when you drive a slower car, you're like, okay, I need to pass this person. Let's go. And you push the gas and it doesn't go anywhere. It's, I'm so used to that in all my previous cars, right? But with this car, man, it goes. I love how fast and strong this car is. All right, guys, reason number 10, why I love Tesla Model 3. I've always loved it before I even got it and why you should get it and why it's the fifth best-selling car in California. Obviously, because you don't have to pay for gas. That's number one reason, right? But it's reason number 10 is that it's got one of the best sound system I've ever heard. And yes, I've always had cheap cars in the past, but you know, I always try to upgrade the sound system. I got a subwoofer and, and you know, do all kinds of things to the audio to try to get some good quality, right? But I've, I thought maybe that's what good quality audio was until I listened to music in this car. It's got speakers all over the place. It's got speakers on the top, on the bottom, all over the dashboard in the back. I don't really know exactly where all the speakers are, but it has such a rich sound to it. It makes listening to music enjoyable again, right? Because before, I don't know, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm a musician, I love music, but listening to music was very difficult to do when the sound quality wasn't that good, right? So, you know, you, we listen to our songs, what, in our laptop, on our phone, inside, you know, cars or whatever, especially when we're driving around or on, on our TV. But in this car, it's like a concert with the best speaker ever. The, uh, the bass is super deep and rich and it doesn't distort. Like, even with my other cars, when I soup up the uh, sound, it'll distort if you were to get too loud or whatever. This audio never distorts and it's just, and especially you watch a movie in this thing and the surround sound system just enhances the uh, moving. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely amazing. So that is the 10 reasons why you should definitely think about getting a Tesla Model 3. I'm pretty sure you're already thinking about it because a lot of people are changing, right? Because of this gas, they're, they're tired of it and it's time to just go electric. And you know it's time when every single uh, dealers, every single brand of cars are making EV cars, right? Every company has an EV car now and it's sooner or later, they're just gonna make only EV cars. So why not jump into it right now and experience the future? So guys, if you've watched this video all the way through, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Please hit the subscribe button and I will see you next time.